cantaloupe. Just a cantaloupe. Too many brownies left. last night? Too much food and disappeared. Just cantaloupe. You're missing out, man. I'm on a fruit flush. Just saying. You feed me too much out here, you gotta be careful. It's a trick. <laughs> trick. I got duped. They don't want us to come back. I'll have to go here. Just hop on there at any time, bro. <laughs> I mean, you are driving a flatbed tundra right now. Daniel's today the day. What do you think? What do you think it might be? What do you tell me? How do you feel about your feelings? Tell me. Tell me what you're thinking. Well, just excited. Ready to see what today's adventures bring and see if the elk are gonna cooperate with us. And do what we need them to. I'll be really interested to see if they have the same pattern as they had yesterday. That would be interesting. To or see if they, the they kind of go back to doing what they were doing before right. we got here. Just lift straight up. send Daniel, the two camera guys, Brian and Ryan into a spot where they had crossed yesterday morning and last night. So me and Eric and Arlen, we're gonna come up to the glassing point and we're gonna glass and try to help them find them and tell them what they're gonna do. Yeah, check it out guys. Wanted to show you this. This is kind of a daily tradition really out here. This is like the, the way they used to do this, right? Get their horses. Yeah. What's it called? Against the rope. Against the rope. So anyway, every day the cowboys go out, they release their, all their horses out to the pasture. Each cowboy has like six to seven horses. So every night when they're done, they release all their horses out there in the pasture. And then the next day after they're done working, they bring all the horses in and they put them on the rope, they said. It's a big half circle. They've trained them to go that way. And then the cow boss will go out there with the rope and every cowboy will tell him what horse he wants to ride the next day. Because so they're trying to alter their horses. They want to give their horses at least three to four days. So the cowboys will tell the cow boss what horse he's going to ride the next day. He'll go and rope it. The cowboy will bridle the horse and they'll take it in. And that's the horse they'll use the next day. It's pretty cool. Look at that. That just looks good. Cool. Oh, just a bird. Oh, just a dog. I think they had like six or seven horses that are fairly new. They're probably on like day three or four of doing this, but they actually learn really quickly. So there's a little bit of pandemonium out there. It's mostly caused by the new horses that aren't really trained yet. Look at how they just, it's a, what do they call it? Pressure? Pressure. Pressure, pressure and release? And release, yeah. So they put a little pressure on the horse. It walks right up to the rope. And once they, once they got the horse where they want it, they release the pressure. Horse knows it's a safe zone and stays there. So they have so many horses because they can may, maybe work one today, right? So they might have to ride sometimes 20, 30, 40 miles in a day right. doing their job. That horse is going to need a few days to rest up. And then whatever tomorrow's task is, there might actually be a better, they have, they might have a better horse 
that's better for that particular task. So as they go to pick out their horses tomorrow, they know what they're doing tomorrow, whether it's roping calves, pushing cattle. They, each cowboy probably has in mind which horse of his or hers. Look at that, first try. So I was talking, I was asking questions to the cow boss yesterday. And another reason they like to round them up daily is they get an up close look at each one. You can see you got a little saddle sore on that one. They might have to tend to the sore. Or if they see something with a bad leg or anything, they can give it any kind of medical attention. Uh, so doing this daily gives them a chance to look over all their horses every single day, make sure they're all doing good. And if they need anything, they'll, they'll give them what they need. So well trained. This is, they were saying that they don't, a lot of branches don't do this anymore, but they do it because it's safer for the horses and for the cowboys to do it this way instead of go out in the pasture and try to chase them down and wrangle them. All right, well, all the cowboys chose their horse for tomorrow's job. I chose my treat for the day, Rice Krispie treat. My favorite. We're actually going to get ready to go back out and hunt elk with Daniel. Casey's going to burn out to a high point to glass and kind of see what the program is. When we last left, the big, big herd was headed to the south, and a batcher group of bulls was actually on the north side of the fields, which there's one shooter in there, which we'll put a play on if we can. We're getting some drone footage, or we're about to. Logan just got the drone kit that the ranch actually has. DJI Phantom 4. Um, we can try to get some drone footage. Um, just so you guys know, if you weren't aware, this is all going to be behind the scenes stuff. We're capturing a ton more footage that you will not be able to see until our annual premiere, which we are going to do at a movie theater like we always do before the expo. And if, as always, like if you can't make it to the movie theater, we're probably going to upload it to YouTube as well. Well, we're definitely going to upload it to YouTube. But we still wanted to take you guys along for the ride. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's every day, bro. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.